Hi there guys and welcome to my Disney Cruise Line haul video. I am wearing my Disney Cruise Line spirit jersey that I got on the Disney Magic last year. Um, I actually never did a cruise haul video for that cruise last year because the merch situation on the Disney, Disney Magic when I did the summer staycations was poor. Um, but, hang on, I can show you the back of it now. <laughs> this is the back of it. And yeah. Um, this is one of the only things I actually purchased last year and they only had it in like XL so I ended up getting it in XL but it's baggy, it's cool and um, it's pretty creased but ignore that guys. But yeah I got back from my last trip uh, I think like two weeks ago now so it's been a while but I've just kind of been getting back into the swing of things with work and stuff so I haven't had time, chance to film the whole but everything's just kind of been sat in here in bags so I wanted to get my cruise my cruise haul filmed and my Walt Disney World haul filmed as well. It's been a long time since I filmed a sit down video um, and I've actually moved house so I'm in my spare room at the moment to film in this. I'm not too sure what's the best place honestly for me to film here um, but I've gone for here for now. Um, I do have my office upstairs which actually I've got quite a lot of my Disney stuff in so I might try and move into that to film videos in the future but for now this is where I'm gonna go for and um, hopefully you can see me hopefully you can hear me I've got no idea but yeah um, it's a small enough room um, and it's not too echoey in here so yeah I'm going to do my first of two haul videos now and um, this is going to be specifically Disney Cruise Line and anything I got on the cruise and then Disney World haul will come next I feel like I've gone a little bit crazy on the cruise but the cruise wasn't too bad compared to Disney World um but we'll we'll get to that yeah so this is one of my merch bags from the cruise right there. and then I've also got this and this merch bag as well from Castaway Key so yeah I've got a few things to kind of go through with you guys I've definitely bought more than I bought on the magic last year so it definitely warrants a video and um, I've also got some stuff that I didn't get on the ship but got that's either Disney Cruise related which I'll get to or is um, from kind of around the area. So if you've watched one of my haul videos before I'm going to start off with free stuff and um, so this is stuff that we got for free while we're on the cruise obviously it's not free free because we paid for a cruise um, but this is kind of stuff that's just included I guess um, and it's not crazy but these are the things so First thing is in the state rooms you kind of get these little postcards. I picked them up um, and they're always in your state room in kind of like a little drawer. So you've got a Mickey and Minnie outside the funnel and then you've got one of the ship as well. I think it's actually the magic. No, it's a dream on the ship. Um, and we were on the fantasy but yeah. So you can like write a postcard if you want to. You could send a postcard from podcast to a key or obviously just keep them as for scrapbooking which is what I am doing. Uh, this was my first cruise as a Gold Castaway Club member, so that was exciting. So I got my Castaway Club Gold lanyard, which was a new thing to add to like my collection. There's one of my room keys just in here as well. And then for being a Gold Castaway Club member, you got the um, backpack that you normally get. My mum's got that, I didn't bring that with me. Um, but you also get some luggage tags. So these are the tags, I think they're really cute. Um, so you've got Castaway Club member and then on the back you can kind of fill in all your personal details on there. So because we did a cruise kind of like around the Caribbean area or like from America, we got the Pirates in the Caribbean um, bandana. So we got that at the table this time. They used to give them you in your stateroom. This actually came on the dining table which is similar to how they did it with the Frozen um, with the like necklace that you got, the like necklace on the Magic back in 2019, you used to get that at dinner. So they seem to have started doing that with the bandanas now as well. So if they're not in your room, they're at dinner. And then the last thing we got was a winner's medal. This is a Disney Cruise Line trivia medal. Um, if you won one, you know how hard they are to get. Um, we got this for, well actually we got given these by a group who were next to us so we did the 70s music trivia they won um but they we were like oh no so close and <laughs> we weren't actually we were, we were quite far off but they gave them to us so that was really nice of them and then we had actually won we jointly won the 80s music trivia and um, there were three teams that all got full marks so then we had to do a like fastest 
singer first basically on, on like a, a final song and um, unfortunately we didn't win that but um the cast member did give us she had a spare winner's medal so she did give us that as well so me and mum both got a winner's medal from miss cruise that is it for free stuff and um, there's not much free on the cruises to be honest so i got a couple of bits from the ports as well so from tortola i think yeah no actually no this is from st thomas i think yeah so from st thomas and um, they had the caribbean rum cakes so i got a pineapple rum cake and a coconut rum cake I've not tried this yet but apparently they are very strong so I'm gonna give them a go. Love pineapple, love coconut and I like rum so fingers crossed. Um, they're nice. People rave about them. And then another thing I picked up from St Thomas was a rash guard vesty thing and um, so we were going on an excursion that kind of took us out and snorkeling and I didn't want to get burnt. I didn't really want to wear one of my cover-ups in the sea so I got this um, which is kind of like a tie-dye effect. It says St Thomas, US Virgin Islands, and it's got a little sea turtle on it as well, which is quite a thing because we actually saw a sea turtle that morning from, um, from Cabanas as well. I am glad I picked this up from there as well because I was planning on getting one for Castaway Key, but they didn't actually have any of the Rash Guardies, Broke Jersey things at Castaway Key, so I'm glad I got this because I also wore this at Castaway Key. Okay, so on to Disney Cruise merch. Um, I'm going to try and do it like kind of by order. Um, so the first thing that I've got is um, from one of the packages that I pre-ordered for myself and my mum and um, so this was the romance at sea package and um, obviously it's me and my mum so we didn't necessarily we didn't get it to be romantic but the stuff that comes with it is pretty good value and um, so I think it was about 100 and 140 dollars maybe 120 something I can't remember but for that you got a bottle of Prosecco in your room you got some chocolates you got a rose and you got two of the Disney Cruise Line robes so these are so so soft they are literally the softest robes ever um, and they say Disney Cruise Line on them it's like all embroidered in really nice quality and I think really good value because you're getting two of these plus the Prosecco plus the chocolates plus the rose and um, so if you're considering buying this package I would definitely recommend it they are different to the robes that you can buy in the shop on the ship that was hard to say um, but I personally think these ones are nicer because they're a lot fluffier the ones in the shop are more like smooth um, but they are still soft but I, I personally do actually prefer these ones so and these ones are a lot cheaper as well I think the ones in the shop are like a hundred and something dollars each but obviously this one you're getting two for a hundred dollars plus the other stuff that you're getting as well so I think it's pretty good value to be honest if you're in the market for a Disney Cruise Line robe obviously so the next thing that we purchased was we went into the shop on the first night we went as soon as it opened because of kind of how traumatised I think I was from the Disney Magic experience and to be honest the merchandise on the fantasy wasn't great it definitely wasn't back to pre-Covid levels and um, there was still a lot of restricted stock which was a bit of a shame but I did there was a lot more than there was on the magic back in 2021. So the thing that I was really really wanting to find was the Disney Fantasy Spirit jersey and um, I did get it but it's not in a size that's ideal for me and um, so they only had them in extra small they had about 20 of them but all extra small which is really annoying and um, at least on the magic when they had about 10 of them they were all different sizes and I just ended up with the extra large because that's what was left when I got there and um, but literally all the ones in the fantasy were extra small which is a shame and um, it fits me okay at the top it's more round the waist that's a bit tight I find and um, so I think I'm going to wear it probably tucked into jeans or tucked into a skirt um, and then hopefully maybe maybe one day I'll get really skinny and that'll fit me perfectly but for now um, it fits fine at the top which is normally where I'm, I struggle so actually I was pretty surprised that the place it was skinny was around the hips but yeah so it's the same as the Disney Magic one on the front and then obviously it has Disney Fantasy on the back as opposed to Disney Magic and you've got Dumbo on there as well kind of replicating what's at the back of the cruise ship my mum was happy so she got one on this cruise as well um, she didn't get one on the Magic because she didn't want one that was extra large but her ex the extra small fits her really well and then because I also wanted a and just a gen generic Disney Cruise Line Spirit jersey I got myself um, this one which I thought was really cute it's like a retro theme um, they only had this in small or large so I went for the large in this one but actually it's not that much different to the mediums that I've got so yeah anyway 
Um, so you've got like the different colours around the bottom on the bands and then you've got like the Disney Cruise Line logo in like the red, orange and yellow and blue. And then on the back, you've got Disney Cruise Line in red, orange and yellow. And yeah, I just thought this was really, really cute. I really like this one. And then I guess to finish off the spirit jersey theme, <laughs> my friends went on the Disney Dream on the Friday, kind of at the same time we were on the Fantasy. Um, and I was meeting up with them just after they got off their cruise. So I asked if they did find any Disney Dream spirit jerseys because they have been on that ship to please buy me one. <laughs> um, so they did manage to get me one. So I've got the Disney Dream spirit jersey in a medium. As you can see, like I don't think it's much different to the to the large in terms of size. If anything, this might feel a bit bigger. But you've got the Dream on the back, and then you've got Mickey, Saucer and Mickey as well on there. Really cute. And it's the exact same on the front as the other ones. You've got the blue Cruise Line logo, and then you've got the same cuffs as well with the dark navy and gold. So yeah, I've got that one too. So now all I need is the Wonder, which September, fingers crossed, they're in stock. And then I've got all four. Well, obviously the Wish will have come out by then, but we'll just ignore the Wish for now. <laughs> So then, because this was my Grand Slam cruise, my mum actually got me a piece of art as well to celebrate, which is really, really nice of her. And it was this that we saw in the shop. I thought it was really, really cute. I'm just going to get a little bit closer to the camera. So you've got four, um, like, buckets, basically, on Castaway Key, and each one has the name of the four ships. So you've got Magic. I'm just going to focus. i still got the cellophane on it. So, yeah, you've got Magic, Wonder, Dream, and fantasy so it's kind of reflecting castaway key and also the four cruise ships which i really really liked so i've got this i'm not too sure i'm going to put it yet somewhere in my office but yeah i just thought it was really cute and also just a nice memento to have from my grandson cruise so then that first night i also picked up a couple of other bits so i picked up these disney cruise line ears they're like lifesaver ears i thought they were really cute they're very nautical and then they've got disney cruise line so you've got a glitter bow with um silver spots and then you've got the lifesavers as the ears just really cute so another thing that i picked up that i really wanted on the magic last year but could not get and they had loads of them on fantasy was the animators palette butter knife like this is just so cute i've always kind of wanted one and i was like you know what they had them in stock i think they're about ten dollars they're not massively expensive um, and I just thought they're so cute, I need to have one of these. So it looks like a paintbrush if you haven't been to Animated's palette and it's just a butter knife. So another thing that I picked up on the ship was a turvis. I wanted a turvis basically to drink out of on the ship, just to kind of keep the drink cold. They had a few that were smaller like this size and they had a couple of larger ones. But the larger ones, I wasn't as keen on the patterns. I really liked this pattern, so I went with this size. I think this will be good for a nice coffee as well at home. Um, I don't know if you can put hot drinks in them, but definitely cold drinks. So it's Tervis branded and it's got like a sipper top as well that you can drink out of. It's really cute. And then the pattern on it is Disney Cruise Line, like navy and red in colour. I just really liked it. Like it's quite hard to see because as you can see both sides, but you've got Disney Cruise Line on there, uh, 1998 the year that it was established and the Disney Cruise Line logo as well as like some ship wheels as well. And then I also picked up a couple of pins on the ship as well. So I got the Disney Fantasy pin. So I've got the Wonder and the Magic pin. The only pin that I'm missing is the Dream. Maybe I'll get back on the Dream in the future. When we were in um, Disney Springs at Walt Disney World they actually had a wall with all like Disney Cruise Line pins and the Dream was the only one that wasn't there and um, Mary could not find it for me on the Dream itself either they were out of stock of it so it just shows that some of the merch is still quite hit and miss and then the second pin I picked up was this Disney Cruise Line 2022 pin which again I just thought was a cute pin with Mickey on it and kind of like a nautical um, compass theme and then obviously it's got the year on it as well which I really liked and then the last thing I picked up on the ship was this this is actually um from i think it's called sweet on you on the fantasy the kind of additional charge um ice cream part that they've got on board the ship so i got the special sunday that you could kind of like it was like a challenge to, to eat it um and it came in either a mickey or a mini souvenir um cup so this was just really cute i really liked this and i can use it for ice cream in the future if i want to and then the last couple of bits I got were from Castaway Key. So from Castaway Key, we picked up another souvenir cup. And um, this one was from Serenity Bay. So you paid, I can't remember how much it was to be honest, but you paid a certain amount 
and it included your drink and then you could top it up and it would cost the same amount as a regular cocktail would cost but you got a lot more of it inside this cup thing um, but it's like a piece of bamboo and it has a Disney Cruise Line logo and Disney Cruise Line written on it. And then I picked up another <laughs> spirit jersey on, bo uh, on board at Castaway Key. So this was the Castaway Key spirit jersey. It's like a tie-dye, um, corally colour, which I really liked. And then it's got a blue and white Disney Cruise Line logo. And then on the back, you've got Castaway Key Bahamas. Again, in like the blue and white. So yeah, I thought this was really cute and I wasn't actually expecting them to have any because I've seen it's been quite difficult for people to get spirit jerseys on Castaway Key, but they seem to have the spirit jerseys this time and not the rash guards. Um, my mum got this spirit jersey as well, but she got it in the blue colour that they do as well. And um, so we both got a Castaway Key spirit jersey. And then the last couple of bits that I picked up were pins from Castaway Key as well. Um, so I didn't actually have a Castaway Key pin, so I picked up two. Um, one is mini on a surfboard, which I just thought was really cute. And then the other one is um, kind of like a, a signpost basically of Castaway Key and has like all the different locations in Castaway Key on there. So yeah, that is everything that I purchased on board the Disney Fantasy and offshore, I guess, on the Disney Fantasy. Um, I don't think I went too crazy, but I definitely bought a lot of merch and a lot of spirit jerseys. So four spirit jerseys um, from the cruises, but... You know, I, I love my spirit jerseys, I like just to lounge around in them. The only one that I probably won't be doing that in is the Disney Fantasy one because it is small. So that one probably is one that I will wear out and about if I do wear it. But I wanted to get it because who knows when or if I'll ever get back on my Disney Fantasy. And if I hadn't have got it, I would have felt sad. So yeah, that is everything. But yeah, thank you for watching guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!